Hi YouTube, it's the route. Hi guys, hi. Um, so yesterday I went to um, Warhammer World and uh, me and Metal Mike went over and we met, and met some dudes I met when I went to uh, Gibraltar. Um, so Simon and Dean, um, Dean I think is like, I'll have to, I'll put the links to their Instagrams in the channel. Um, but also met some of their mates who are uh, uh, Marcel, who's Marcel or Marce, Marce K, Marcy K, I don't know, he's got shit tons of followers on Instagram anyway. Um, does some cool custos stuff. Um, met him, I had a game against him, Void Bearers. Good game, one in the end. Um, and then Damien, who is another one of their mates. And uh, we had a great time. It was really good. We started a campaign that Simon has. Um, designed and uh, we've got the traitors versus the loyalists so there's um, Simon's Dark Mechanicum, uh, Mike's Death Guard, My Word Bearers versus Custodes, Imperial Fists and Space Wolves and um, I played I played Marcel's Custodes. Man full custode army is tough. Um, he's got by his own admission this cheesy like leader dude who's like three up re-rollable invulnerable save um two up armor save seven attacks um instant death just i think i took one wind of him in five rounds combat with galvor back but anyway we, it was a good one it was really good i think it was tired of carnage we played which is where you've got control uh, zones at the end and um i'd managed i got my own vets and i, I, I kind of put them in the reserve so I could outflank and hopefully uh, get the seven points at the end so he uh, and then deny him I got quite lucky denying him um, in a combat my assault marines broke but another unit held um, and my assault marines managed to drop back and deny him seven points so I won in the end but I didn't have much left on the table I used my lancer um, and the war machines attachment because my firearm wasn't finished um, there you go Transfers going on. I've got to get that probably finished tonight ish for um, Greg Dancing next weekend, London Heresy next weekend. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, it was a wicked game. We had a really good laugh. His army's painted really well and it just the whole table looked good. And um, there's some pictures on my Instagram if you want to check them out. Um, uh, the route underscore, or the underscore underscore route uh, Instagram if you want to check them out. Really good game. Really hard. Like my Lancer was was rubbish it um charged into did it blow up the thing i don't think it even did blow up the thing did it blow up the thing no it charged into his transport took it down to one wind but then it didn't do anything he moved off and i was like i oh, forget it because all these things had jumped out charged his knight whiffed all my attacks twice his knight blew me up like what are the chances didn't hit him once um, anyway, did that. That was all fun. Mike played Dean. Dean beat Mike in the end. He had Russ. Mike didn't have Primark, so I think if you're up against Russ and you haven't got a heavy or something, you're in trouble. So, uh, but they had fun. And um, Simon beat Damien, so it was a uh, traitor win. Uh, but they've stayed up and they've played today. They're doing a big zone mortality, so I need to check in later and uh, see what they've, see what they've done. Um, and then we played a night game where we just had four knights versus four knights on this six foot city table we played two games um and i think each game took 20 minutes it was hilarious and what we did is we did it alternating so instead of all knights going on one side we did one went and then another one went so we sort of activated each one a bit sort of shadow ballsy but with knights and it was amazing it was hilarious like first game about turn three i suppose maybe it would have been well, i suppose it would only been turn two because everyone was having a sort of move at each time well, I ran forward with my first knight, battle cannon, scattered back. One hit him, took a wound. The other one landed on me, took a wound. And basically I then tripped over and put chain fist through my own face and killed myself. I pretty much killed myself. I was like, my charge blew up. Nothing. It was hilarious. And then two turns later, Mike and Damien run into each other. Combat. Both blow up. Mike flips, lands on another knight, blows him up. That flips, lands on another knight, blows him up. 
four knights all gone in one combat phase. It was amazing. It was so funny. And then, and then we had another one, and uh, it got down to me and Dean. I charged Dean through a building because we were just saying like you can smash three buildings. It was really funny, really cinematic. Charged Dean through a building. We were the only two left. He was quite, he only had a few wounds left anyway. Killed it. He killed me. I landed on him and killed him. So there was no one left on the board at the end. So no one won. It was uh, it was just brilliant. Honestly, if you've got a couple of, I know a lot of people like you go against the night list, and if you've only got troops and stuff against knights, it's probably not going to be much fun until the eighth comes on. But um, if you can get a few of you to play a night game like that, oh, it's hilarious. Even throw some titans in or something. It's just if you've got the models, it's what a fun way to play it. This is my cooler from uh, the holiday. Captain Mark is is definitely not really called Mark. He didn't look like a Mark anyway. Phuket and alternative tours. They took us on a boat tour on our honeymoon. It was pretty pretty epic, and uh, we're having a uh, Yeasty Boys a digital IPA Sunday afternoon beer. Anyway, good day. But I thought I'd show you my shopping haul. Shopping haul. Shopping haul. Shopped hard. Um, but I've been saving to, to to do it. I know there's loads of stuff I've been waiting to get, and I was like. Didn't want to pay postage, so I thought, oh wait, get it when I'm going up. So I thought I'd show you. So here it is. First thing. Now, this one, I mean, it, I bought it a while ago when it came out because Damien, who worked, he actually works at Forge World, uh, at Warhammer World, he was super kind enough to get it for me on the, on the release day because I tried to get one at my local store and they were like, oh, we had two and they just went. But um, Damien was a legend and uh, he got me one. So... Shadow War Armageddon. Um, cool. I mean, I bought it because I'd, I'm really interested in the rule set and I love building little kill teams. Um, and I'm really intrigued just to play a different sort of rule set and see 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 what it's like. And because I've got a lot of scenery anyway, which you might have seen from my Instagram stuff, I really love the scenery and I thought it'd be a cool way to sort of get hold of this stuff um, and add to my mechanical me feeling boards that I've got already um, and I just thought it'd be fun so I grabbed Damien grabbed that for me because he got it from there on opening day I got a, a wristband which I'll never wear so maybe uh, if you're doing my competition maybe uh, might throw that in for a winner and then um, they gave an extra some of these, which look like objective markers, I guess. Don't know what they are, I haven't really read the rules, so I've got them extra. But yeah, Damien, cheers mate for getting me this, appreciate it. Um, I sent Sam a message today, but I don't think he understood what I was saying to him. But Sam, let's paint up a kill team each, and let's do a little mini-series battle reports of this. Kill team each, 40k styly. Let's do it. So anyway, that was part one. <clears throat> and then, I wanted some more stuff. So I grabbed this, the Ferrotonic Incinerator. So it's a bit more scenery, um, just because I want more scenery to build for uh, some stuff that's coming up. And I love scenery, and I built that. I bought that rather. So anyway, that should be fun to add to that. And then we've got this too. Yes. A galvanic servo hauler. Love it. Love it. I think that's so cool. And uh the 40k thing said everything will have rules. Dinner's ready. I'm still going. Give me five. Nothing. I think she's okay with that. Anyway, should have rules. Should be awesome. So anyway, that's cool. Love it. Gonna paint that up. Scenery. All right, that's scenery done. I got him, and I called it at the weekend when everyone was like, "It's an event exclusive." I was like, "That's not what it fucking says on the poster, dipshits." 
So anyway, they've got shit tons of these at Warhammer World. So if you want a Custo Tribune Ioxon or Ion, is it Silent X or Silent I? Hail. I really like him, love the model. And um, eventually I'm gonna get my Custodes, my Talons forced together. So slowly just putting the bits together for that. So grab that. Pick this up, just because. Grombrindal, love it, it looks cool. And uh, I'm 40 this year, so it's got my birthday, my birth years on there, 77, 40 years old. So I thought I'd get that, paint that up. All right, what's next? I'll do Blood Bowl next. So again, I was just waiting to go up there and buy these, so I've got the star player. Varag Gold Chewer. So he'll be going in my uh, Sea Rattle Sea Orcs. Which, as soon as that the fire on behind you is finished, I am going to paint because I'm done painting 30k in Space Marines at the minute, so I'm dying to get onto this. Um, so, as soon as that mother's painted, done. And then I've got the Blood Bowl Troll. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, again, just because I want him in my Orcs, and uh, he'll be cool breaks it up a little bit so I've got that and then <clears throat> I really don't even know what these do but I just I'm a sucker for things like this so I picked up these cards uh, team titan packs special play cards and the hall of fame pack special play cards don't even know what they do last but not least is I got some stuff for my space wall so I there's two things I wanted that um, they were out of so I ordered I'll show you them when they come um, I completely forgot to buy the Russ's Wolves, which, whatever, never mind, not in a rush. But, <clears throat> I did pick up, wah, 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 Space Wolf Dreadnought. Um, I was, I think, like, I don't know, I wasn't sure when I saw it come out with the pose and stuff. I think, like, the, the dude, I forget his name, I think, like, I get why he's done that paint job. Um, it's not how I'm doing my wolves, but that doesn't matter because you just do do them how you want to do them, right? But it's, you know, it's, it's clearly a badass paint job. Um, but I was like, oh, I don't know. And then, I, you know, it's one of those things. I think when you actually see these things in the flesh, like I didn't like the Iron Hands one when I saw the photo bit. I've got three of them. And in the flesh, they're really cool. Subtle, but cool. And um, I just wanted this, so I thought I'd get it. And it is really neat. Um, some people aren't down with the wolf pelt, but... They've been really clever with that. It's a separate piece, so you don't have to put it on, which is neat. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. We'll see. I might paint it up separately, and then I can put it on and off, and we'll see. But I got that, because um, for a one of the things that's coming up, which I'll do a separate video for, because I'll probably do a lot, a lot of vlogs around it, um, I'm, I want to contempt it in my little force. And uh, who doesn't love contemptors? But... Um, you know, my the whole theme of my thing is I want to be killing infantry in quite close combat. I think the space was a close combat. So, weapons wise, I went for the uh, this bad boy, Volkite Culverin, twin linked bad boy. So I just love that model and I haven't painted one yet and it's quite a good troop killer and first part of the thing we're doing is going to be a lot of troopy stuff. So like it, just think it'll look quite cool. But I've got quite a few bits of contempt stuff lying around. So I will magnetize this and it will be an optional. Um, and then I just picked up another power claw because, uh, power claw. and I've got some ideas about how I'm going to convert this to make it a little bit more space wolf like. Um, and I think in my first list, it will probably be a bit more of a combat thing. I, I don't see Space or Dreadnoughts being too heavy weapon type stuff, I think. Um, for my army, I want it to be a very combat orientated army. Um, and so that's kind of how I'm, 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 arming, I'm arming stuff. Having said that, I do like, like I said, I've got that Volkite because I think I'll probably use it sometimes. And then, <clears throat> picked up another one of these. Leviathan body. I've got all the bit, I've got all the arms that I want. Um, and again, this one's going in my Space Wolves. I should check this before I left, because you always get home and there's bits missing. 
and then they're like, I don't believe you. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna Leviathan in there. I love Leviathans, I think they're so cool. Um, and as it gets bigger, you never know, I might run a, a, a couple of them, just because of the right of war I'm gonna run, it's probably gonna limit me to one heavy weapons choice. Um, but yeah, I've got all the things I wanna run with that. Probably gonna do it as a pretty heavy close combat thing. Twin close combats, twin claws. Um, Again, with some weapon options, I've got like the Melter Cyclonic Lance thing, which I quite like. I think that could come in handy, so we'll see. But I'll magnetize a bunch of weapons for that. But there you go. It's my weapon weapons haul. I haven't got a weapons haul. I'm not gonna do that. I haven't got any weapons at all. I think that's it. So Her Majesty's Secret Service don't come around. I just misspoke. Shopping haul. That's it. That was my pent up probably about four months worth of saving to just buy some stuff and that's it projects are ready oh something else what is it new book the curry on throne um i don't know much about it i haven't heard much about it but i do like a good inquisitor book read all the ravenous stuff read all of the um Eisenhorn stuff, prior. Haven't done the Horizian Wars yet, the Resurrection stuff. Oh, a bunch of that's not out until July. So apparently I'll do that. My birthday's in July, so I'll do that. I haven't read the Inquisition War yet either. But I do like a good Inquisition thing, and I've had this project kind of slow burning in the background of an Inquisitor War band that started to do it ages ago and now as this in sort of Inquisi Monday, Inquisi 28 things kicking off a lot I'm like well maybe I'll get back to it so hopefully this will give me some inspiration and I'll go back and all the bits that I've already bought for it I will I'll build some stuff and maybe do a a sort of kill team thing for um Armageddon um so that's it um I've got to finish the fire on by probably Tuesday or it ain't getting done and I'll be groveling to Greg to um Change my list. I wish I don't want to do. So I better paint it. Um, and I've got loads of projects in the pipeline. After that, Blood Bowl characters. Space Wolves will carry on. I'm going to do a video on my Space Wolves. Um, I think, I don't know if I showed you. This guy. I ended up painting one up. Um, uh, is he going to focus? Anyway, this is one of my Space Wolves, uh, one of my Grey Slayers. Um, test model, really happy with how it came out, happy with the colour scheme, happy with all the markings and stuff like that. So he is the first official model that I'm happy with. I've actually done two tests previously that I'm not happy with. I'll show you when I move house, because we're moving house this week, so out of the hobby room into a new hobby room. But slow burn these, probably until end of the summer I'll just chip away probably paint these up probably paint dreadnought probably paint the leviathan I've got some vehicles coming which I'll probably paint um but I'm just gonna hold because I you know hope, I'm feeling like we'll see the Varangian Terminator set and we'll see the um Death Swan upgrade kit which I'm pretty sure it'll be an upgrade kit I haven't seen what they've done with Thousand Sun stuff I reckon we'll see that at the Warhammer Fest so I'm holding off but grace layers I'm going to do using the kits I've got, the upgrade kits I've got and bits and bobs. So I will build, I'll finish off this squad. This one's probably going to be a 10-man squad. Um, it sucks that it doesn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I don't even focus. Anyway, I'll do videos on this separately. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do 10 of these. Um and they're pretty cool. I'm really happy with this guy. The head, I'll, I'll show you in the video, but the head's from um, some dude off eBay, and they're awesome. They're so good. I'm so chuffed to go They're expensive, though. They did cost a bit of money. I was a bit like, holy shit, but worth it. And then I will um, get to the how-to video, because I've had a load of people ask me to show you how to do, how I do the my process, and um, uh, I'll do a video, and I'll take I'll do step by step and I did a little vote on Instagram and I'm really chuffed that everyone picked Death Guard well not everyone but it came out as Death Guard um 
because I think they might be a future project of mine. So I'm kind of chuffed about that. But I'm going to do a Death Guard one. I'll do a video. I'll show you what I do. It doesn't mean it's the only way. It doesn't mean it's the right way. It works for me. But it'll be getting your models on the tabletop quickly. And they're going to look cool. And you don't need a huge amount of skill to be able to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, and I'll show you how to do it. So that'll be up soon. Like I say, I know a few, few people have been asking me um, to do it. And I'll get on it, I promise you. Um, but we're just moving house. We did, this is a, a rental and we just bought a house. And um, we got the keys for it on honeymoon and we haven't moved in yet. It's driving me mad because I hate renting. Um, landlords are dick. But we're out soon. And um, this hobby room over the next few days is going to get completely changed into my new hobby room in an other house. Which is why I've got to get this freaking fire undone so I can wrap this up and move and get my new hobby room together. Which is a bit bigger than this one. And I'll be able to have a game and leave it up. Excited. Anyway, this has been 20 minutes. It's a bit long and I know the wife is probably going to be pissed that I haven't gone for dinner. So peace. I made it for dinner. Are you upset that I took longer than I said? No. What did you make? Salmon. Salmon noodles? Mm -hmm. This is one of my favourites. So you've got, what's this? It's broth. Broth. And that's sesame. Sesame. They're both dips, so you can just dip the noodles. And you just noodles. dip cold noodles. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Love it. All right. I didn't get killed. I'm about to eat. Peace.